What is up guys? Jake here with the next Vainglory video and in this one I'm in a guild team uh, with Arden and Celeste and we're just going back to my normal Taka, the one that I suck the least at. Uh, trying to, you know, we had a rank match trying to level up a little bit of elo and we lost. <laughs> we actually got beat pretty bad. We, you know, we fought back and we made it competitive at least towards the end. But this is going to happen. You're going to run into guys that are just better than you or, you know, the team doesn't match up well. And when I saw this team, I thought, man, we're going to be fine here. You know, Arden, Saul, and Adagio, you know, nothing really high damage outputting. I know Adagio can be. Saul obviously is, but he's in the lane. I thought we would really dominate the jungle, and it just didn't go that way uh, for, for a multitude of reasons, partly my fault. I, I, again, I just haven't been able to get on and play as much, and I think it's reflecting in my gameplay. But we get started off, and we're on Discord. Uh, again, I thought we would have an advantage there because it didn't seem that the other team was a, you know, a guild team or anything. And we talked about just invading their jungle right away. All three of us going down, uh, you know, getting a quick kill on them, not being ready for it, taking two of them out and stealing their farm. Uh, right here, it works out great. They see us, they immediately retreat, uh, and then we start chasing and trying to take them out. And basically what comes of it is not us taking them out right here. All of us are level one. No one's going to be going down too quickly. But it, we do take all of their jungle. So we thought, okay, we're, we, we bullied, them right from, bullied them right from the start. We're feeling pretty good about it. Saul does come down, but it's sort of too little too late. Uh, just keeping a, 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 a Agio runoff, keeping Saul at bay, and taking their farm. They pretty much at this point have you know conceded it and just fell back. Uh, so I'm just waiting for Arn to take the first hit and then get in there and take that out. After we get this done, we move up and start to move out, and apparently they, I guess they were trying to sneak in and, and grab something on our side, I'm not sure, but we catch a Daggio uh, here in just a moment in the bushes and take him out. Uh, Saul's right there, run up, get a few shots on him. Uh, that's pretty much that. He goes down, a Daggio goes down. So we're feeling really good about it at the start of the game. You know, we've bullied them, we've stole their farm, we've killed them a few times just to, you know, moral... Uh, you know, they're, they're probably feeling pretty bad at this point, not sure what to do. And Celeste just retreats back, starts taking care of the lane. We grab this farm and move on with the game as normal here at this point. Uh, you know, just get back to our side and do our thing. We've we've sort of got the jump on gold, robbed them of experience, robbed them of gold. And, you know, again, sort of a, a psychological thing that we just came in and, and took everything they had. Uh, but then get back to farming. I grab my, uh, what is that? Hard, hard steel, I don't know, the tier two weapon damage. Uh, Arden's just, we're taking the first hits, he's got the contract, doing our normal stuff here, and again, we're feeling pretty good about the match at this point. They come over, uh, we jump on them. I'm trying to take, uh, I'm trying to take Adagio down first, but later in the match, I realized that Arden was the one putting out a lot of damage. I never thought of him as a big damage either, but this build he was doing, it, and he was good. This Arden was just a good player. Uh, we took Adagio out, chased them up to the, to the top here, to our turret, unfortunately, saw already putting some damage on our turret. Uh, but for the most part, we get the best of that exchange as well. Uh, we get Adagio killed. Uh, we did have our Arden go down, but not not the big deal, really. Uh, again, these early early match deaths don't mean a whole, whole lot. Uh, again, Saul is, was good, and, and Arden was good on their team. And I guess Adagio was too. They all were. Uh, put some good damage on me, made me retreat back. I grabbed my boots, a few more pots, and just get back in the fight. Uh, just back to farming here again. Saw saw early game is a pain. He can really press a turret quicker than almost anyone in the game can because he can just build up those stacks and just start laying down massive damage and take a beating. You know, he can't. It's hard to take him out real real quick. Uh, so really, my prime objective here is to get level six. You see, they were hiding in the bushes for us. This is the start of a common theme of this entire match. We really struggled because we didn't have vision. They got the jump on us so many times in this match. Uh, and, and got the kills on us. They did not get that kill, uh, but again, they pretty much ran us out of our own jungle because they got the jump on us, and they're down there taking their hits. We should have fell back here, uh, called all the way back to the house and got healed up. Uh, Adagio comes over, and I thought, okay, we're going to get a quick kill. They separated, uh, but it was kind of stupid how hard we pressed here because, boom, there's Arden, full life, full everything, takes me out, and then Adagio uh, comes back and helps out. Arden has to retreat. So I'm just sort of trying to save up for Sorrow Blade here. I get a lot of burst damage, but again, the problem right now, I've talked about it in so many games, when you get in these early fights like this, we're not farming. We're not getting gold. We're not getting experience. Uh, we're not leveling up. We're not getting items, and that really hurts you. They're able to because they're winning these skirmishes. You know, we won the first few, but since then, you know, we've been losing. Again, they've been getting the drop on us, all of that, and it's, it's starting to hurt us. I need to get level six before I can really do anything. You see all three of them are right here in front of our turret. I snuck up pretty stupidly 
Should have came around from the turret side uh, and took a quick death that was pretty much needless. Uh, Arden doing his best to defend our turret, but already at six minutes, they've got one of our turrets down. So not the best start uh, aside from the first little bit, the first few minutes of the match. Uh, so we're trying to regroup here, reach, you know, get set back up. Again, you see them down here in the, in the jungle. They've got vision down. They've got they know exactly where we're at, and we rarely, if ever, know where they're at. Right there, I see um, Adagio in the jungle, so I thought we'd maybe get a quick kill on him. But again, Arden's never far behind. He's right there. Uh, and we're constantly split up on damage as well. I think, you know, especially for being in the score, we did a poor job of calling out targets and do that. You see, both of them are almost dead. Had we all focused on one target, clearly one of them would have been down, and that fight probably would have gone differently. So in your matches, be sure, especially if you're on Discord, uh, to call out those targets and have a clear understanding of which ones you're going for first. That was a fail on our part, I'm not blaming anybody. All of us, we should have uh, done better on that. But you see, it's all already putting damage on that uh, turret. I come in and start trying to take him down. Finally, we get the kill on him. Uh, Arden uses his ability on me, gives me a little shield. Uh, we come down to our jungle, and you know, the, the match is close right here. They're up there, head one turret, and some damage on the other, but this was a mistake. You know, we made several small mistakes like this. Take it, take it on that gold mine. We know that there's two of them up. Uh, probably not the best idea. We didn't know where they were. They get the jump on us again, plus the, the gold mine's hitting us. So I tried to just finish off the gold mine there. Probably not the best idea. Uh, they take me down and get the gold mine. So this is sort of the beginning of when they start snowballing us, and it just sort of goes from bad to worse. Again, you see how little of farming we've done in the last little bit. I do get level six, but you know, we, our, our abilities aren't that high. All I've got right now is, is tier two weapon damage. That is literally it. That in boots, uh, that's pretty bad for eight and a half minutes into the game right there. They take us out. Saw is starting to do some major damage because he's been farming the lane hardcore. I do not know how Adagio gets away right here, but, uh, he does. Arden comes over, gives him a little shield, a little speed, and that's all it took. Uh, Adagio just sort of gets out and I think they actually get a kill. Yeah, right there. Arden goes down. Uh, Adagio finally goes down to Celeste, and I just get back to farming here. Uh, you know, we're, we're separated quite a bit here. You know, we're not really fighting uh, straight up as a team as much as we probably should. I think, did Celeste die right there? I think he did. I've got enough. I wanted to come down here and get enough for my Sorrow Blade because I was almost there. So I got that, again, still way behind on my farm. Almost 10 minutes, and all I've got is Sorrow Blade and Boots. That is not good, and it's going to start reflecting in the team fights for sure uh, because they're just doing way more damage, and they're tanky. You know, they're, they've out-leveled us. They, they take more hits than we do. Uh, right here, got Saw up in the lane. All three of us are there, so pretty quickly we burn him down. Arden comes in, uses that. He was so good at when to use that ability. Uh, you know, I had my, I couldn't stealth out. I couldn't do anything. They had me locked in there. So once they take me down, uh, it was just, you know, they could pick off the other two. The, the major damage was out of the way. And uh, they're doing really well at it. You know, those two are playing very, very well together. I don't know if they've played together before or not, uh, but they're doing a good job this time. So if, given the situation, I just go ahead and buy some damage, uh, some shield armor, excuse me, some armor. I knew that we were taking, you know, we were dying in these fights. Right there, we get a, a quick kill on Adagio, and Saul is right there in the lane. I think we might be able to take him down. Uh, but look at this damage. He uses that ability. Look how quickly he takes me out there. Just absolutely wrecks face. Uh, he did that a lot this game. You know, he look at that right there. Took out two of us and got away with a slither, sliver of health. Uh, so I'm trying to get more tanky. He has actually got two Serpent's Mask at this point, I think. If not, he's about to have them. Uh, so that, with some other weapon damage, I mean, he is just a beast and hard to take down. He can just sort of post up shop, build up those stacks, and just deal out massive damage and take a beating with two Serpent Masks. Uh, it's really hard for us to deal with at this point. Uh, so we get our, our minion mind back and just start trying to run together. We're trying to really stay grouped up. Uh, we know that they're right up there. But again, with no vision, we're constantly having to face check these bushes, take a chance. Uh, they can see us coming. We can't see them. And it really uh, it turns out about it. Again, choosing to attack that uh, choosing to attack that gold mine was a mistake. It was almost full. We thought we might try to steal it real quick. Again, not knowing where they're at. Arden puts down that that gauntlet and we can't get out and they just you know put us in that box and just beat the hell out of us and that's the way it went so right here i'm trying to get more damage uh again still behind on the on the farming go ahead and grab another uh, armor just because you know i'm taking a lot of shots trying to get a little bit more tanky they do have basically all weapon damage for the people that are actually putting out damage you see saw there what i'm talking about look how much put my ultimate on him uh, arden's beating on him i'm beating on him and we just can't take him down that serpent mask just keeps him up did our best, uh, stayed in as long as I could, but had to retreat uh, and get some more life built up. This is, I think, where, no, no, not, not this fight. He's coming up. Uh, they retreat back wisely. They never really got too aggressive, so they were smart how they played. 
uh, I just invest, come down, check all these bushes, and get our minion mine back, and then waiting for Arden to get back up here. All right, right there he is. Uh, just sort of trying to group back up, make sure that if we're in a fight, it's at least a three-on-three -three fight, because uh, we know we're behind here. Again, having to face check everything right here. I think, yep, here they come. They see it's coming. Arden puts us in the box. I'm trying to get out of there. They've already got me targeted, though. Uh, nowhere to go. Can't do anything, and boom, dead. I didn't even get an attack off. Uh, Celeste does her best to get out of there. I think she actually does escape on this one. Arden goes down. Uh, Celeste does somehow make it back home. No, I'm sorry. That's not this one. That's the next one. Uh, so we go down again. You know, 14 minutes. The deaths are starting to rack up, and it has a cumulative effect. This right here, I think, is the fight where it's sort of a moral victory, and we sort of start trying to turn the tide. Uh, it's a two-on-three for just a moment. We last that out. Uh, we do end up taking them out here. I have to retreat back and grab a little bit more life. Uh, Arden goes down, but Celeste and I, because we have the, the ability to fight in front of our turrets here, actually end up fighting these guys off and taking them out. They, they overstayed just a little bit too long. This is one of the one times they did that. Uh, not enough life left. And then right there, you see we start taking them down. Those turrets still firing in. Celeste has got plenty of health that she can chase him down. I'm having to stay back, trying to get a few kill shots just for a little bit of health uh, regen. And again, right here, as she's fighting him off, uh, I come in with the ultimate, put a few more hits on him. Look how tanky he is, though. I don't understand it because he really didn't have a lot of defense. I don't know what it was, but uh, took hits like a champ. But we did get the ace there. And again, that was sort of a moral victory for us, knowing that we could beat them in a fight. Again, it was probably a mistake on their part, but one of the first mistakes they had made. So it was nice to see they were capable of making a mistake. Again, though, we're in the same situation. We're coming down. We never know where they're at. We're, you see, we see Saw up top. Uh, but we're having to face check everything, uh, taking a chance that they're going to be waiting on us for an ambush. You see Adagio just trying to lure us out. There they are dropping flares, uh, trying to find out where we're at. And we're just trying to keep from making a mistake here. We're waiting on them to make that mistake so we can jump on them. Uh, they, it's sort of a stalemate here for a moment. And I, I knew they were going to do it. They just bail out and go to the line and try to push in thinking we won't see them. Uh, as soon as we see them start hitting those minions, though, we call back and start, uh, start fighting them there again and i think it happens just here in a moment again you see the stalemate here actually quite a bit of time went by uh each team waiting for the other to screw up so they go ahead go for that we come down and are able to fight them off again i think we might actually get yeah we get another ace right here actually uh, so we're feeling better we, we're realizing that we can beat them in a team fight we just have to be smart about it again arden doing a great job placing those those gauntlets you know trapping us in locking us in one at a time or two at a time and getting a lot of kills that way. Again, they saw that we were all here, probably overstayed their, their welcome one more time. Uh, they did get the, the turret kill for it, uh, but beautiful ultimate by Celeste there. We get uh, Saul taken down, then or, me, Ar Adagio taken down, then focus on Saul, and then take out Arden as well. So I'm not sure why they wanted to press this so hard. 17 and a half minutes, or almost 18 minutes. It's not super late game. An ace isn't just you know, terrible, but it doesn't, you know, this is where it starts, you know, things can, can switch pretty quickly if you get a few aces like that. So we come down, grab the Kraken. Uh, we think we just have just enough time to get it done, which we do, get it taken care of, and this is our chance to push and turn the game around because you can see that we have only one turret left. Pretty big disadvantage at this point. Uh, we've got to get to a point where uh, we can start taking out some of their turrets and changing the tide of this. So we come down. Obviously, they're all three already up, already there fight on the crack and it's hard to fight them right in front of a turret like that but we do our best we come in get a few shots on them again Arden beautiful job on that on that gauntlet putting it down holding us in there I was just able to escape uh, we get that first turret down here in just a second I think one more swipe there yep it goes down uh, you know trying to get a kill here we want to try to make them pay for this with more than just a turret uh, so right there we get a few shots on Arden uh, Celeste takes him out and at this point you know the Kraken's almost dead they're Really, they're not really that damaged. We are. Uh, we're low on power. I was like, let's just get out of here. You know, let's take their jungle and call it a day. We got a uh, turret out of it. We got another one damaged, and we got a kill. Let's take their gold, and we'll be moving on our way. So everybody agreed. We pulled out, got their minion mine, got their jungle. And probably, uh, again, right here, we have the advantage right now. We have the momentum. But probably still, our builds are not as complete as they are. And so unless they're making mistakes, they still have the advantage in a team fight. You know, straight up. Excuse me, straight up three on three. I think they still can beat us pretty much any time. Excuse me, guys. Any time as long as they're not making mistakes. And, and again, it comes down to the end here. We're having to face check everything. We don't know where they're at. They can see us coming. And this right here is another example. Uh, Arden comes out, 
beautiful job again just sort of locking me in there all by myself you know the other guys couldn't come in till right there they used the uh, they used a crucible or whatever which allowed them to come through but it was sort of too little too late uh we see that, that arden is going down and we just decided to peel out of there we should have just left completely right here uh, but why we held back i'm not sure we should have already been back at our house you know called back saw that adagio come over i engaged was a mistake because obviously they're not far behind they get the stun off saw starts doing his thing and uh, get me taken out pretty quickly. This is the one where uh, Celeste escaped, and I'm not sure how she did it. Actually, took uh, took Arden out as well, which was very cool. Use that um, ultimate on, takes him out, and then right where she's at, I guess she was right in that nook where they had to walk around. She gets away and sp saves the game from being over right there. She goes down there, the game's over. They they come in, take that last turret, and they win. So it prolonged it a little bit, and it was a good save by her because uh, again, that was a mistake on our part and they made us pay for it. So right here, I'm trying to figure out what to do. I get that tier two. I'm trying to get as tanky as I possibly can uh, because the way that Arden's doing it, locking us in, I'm, I know I'm going to be taking hits and I know their weapon damage. So just trying to get that upgraded. We come back through. Again, the same problem. No vision. Don't know where they're at. We're having to just see what's up. Uh, they have the ability to, to uh, jump on us whenever we're not ready. They can see us coming. Uh, we just try to infuse up and then right there, boom. They know we're there. They know we're coming. They get the jump on us. Uh, Arden gets locked in there all by himself. Celeste and I can do very little to help. Uh, so right here, we try to get out of there. Uh, and I think we actually, I think we do get away right here. At least I do. Uh, here in just a minute, use my ability. Yep, I get back. Celeste goes down on this one. She does occupy him for a long time, trying to give time for Arden to get back up so we can, we can mount a defense. I just come down, try to check and see if I can grab any quick farm, grab a little bit of money, uh, but nothing's up. You know, everything's down still. Right there, Celeste goes down. So now we at 23 minutes, we've got quite a while to wait for her. I just go up in the lane, clear some of these minions, grab some cash. While I know they're dealing with the uh, Kraken, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's just me. I guess there's a chance of a, a kill shot, but the problem is with Arden and his ability, he can simply lock them in, and uh, nothing I can do about that. Actually, I don't think they were dealing with the Kraken. I don't think it was up. Uh, no, it was right there, yeah. But nothing I could do about it. You know, they could lock me out, or if I went down there, with a slim chance for a kill shot, more than likely I just die, and that's that. But however, with only one turret left, and you know, very the Kraken coming, and all three of them, we're we're pretty much done here. Uh, we're gonna put up our best fight, uh, but you know, we can't. We have nothing really to fall back on but that one turret. We're trying to get those minions out of the way, uh, so at least it'll help some. And we're trying to find Saw right here. He's really the, the high damage output guy. We're trying to take him out again. Beautiful job by their Arden. He was just a beast. Uh, did everything right this game. I go and viz, I was stunned, but I do get away with my box. Uh, but the Kraken is already on there, trying to get back in, trying to see what we can do. But as that goes down, it's just too little too late. Uh, I think I'm the only one left up here, and they do take me down. They stun me, slow me, and that is that. Game over. So excellent job to those guys. You know, we, sometimes you just get beat, and that's what happened this time. We just got beat by a team that played better than we did. Too many mistakes, uh, too many little things on against a team that was, you know, that was very skilled. Uh, here's the stats right there. You see, uh, not bad. I mean, not great when I get 10, 11, too many deaths, but they, you know, we all had a lot of deaths because they killed us a lot. There's the builds. Hope you guys liked it. Until next time, Jake, doing my best to help you guys suck less.